Hello, welcome back to the channel. We've got a new tool on the block in the shed, as they say. So, I'll try to I'll try them up and 60 quid, some uh, 40s. This one come up on Amazon at 45 pound. Uh, so I went on Marketplace of all places. I've just been and picked it up, brand new. I've took all the film off. It's still got all the, the uh, pre-applied oil uh, for 20 quid. You wanted 30, it's 25. Got him down to 20. Uh, 15 minute drive. So I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed to bits. Now I'm going to mount it right here. Uh, this I've had to get this because I'm going to service my fuel injectors I'm going to strip them down uh, totally and use what's it called that now the ultrasonic cleaner I'm going to use an ultrasonic cleaner and clean them proper uh, yeah I know what I'm doing so I'm going to do that with the one that's not working the one that I took out in the previous video isn't actually working it's working as I've put I've put a charge on it and you can hear the solenoid uh, going off but it's it's really blocked it's really blocked so that'll be getting stripped down on here and the video will be up so we're just going to fix this i was going to use and would probably be a better bet i was going to use these and bolt them through but i've got some of these at hand somewhere i've got some of these so i've put the block on for a bit more support and to bring it up a bit uh, we've got three of them will work perfectly with a washer on and on this first one we can go straight into this which is a big 4b2 on the other one it's only a, a 3b 3b1 so what I'm gonna do is get another block I'm gonna put that block underneath like that so really with all the force that I'll be putting on it, uh, 50 newton meters for the fuel injectors. So yeah, I think that'll work. This is what it's all about, this channel. It's all about, I got this for 20 quid, it's supposed to be 45. These I just had lying about. Um, I've only got one of them, so I'd have to go and buy some. So it's, it's like the 18. It's like the 18. The 18 used to go into a garage and it used to come out in a tank. You know, it's using what you've already got. Uh, instead of having to, some stuff you you are going to have to purchase aren't you but I've managed to do this set up for 20 quid and about £3 worth of fuel they actually come with these as well which are magnetic I think there's, there's a few the same style with different names on so I think they're a, a standard one and then they get hold of them and they put their name on it you see and sell it as theirs uh, but oh that's great look at that so you can put tubing as such and the rubber to protect whatever you you're doing it also has these so we can swivel this so i can have it over this end i can have it over there i can move it around so this isn't going to take long at all we've got drill Got about 15. It's a star bit T30. I'll do the first one here because that's going straight into the bench. Just make sure everything lines up. Yeah, I'll go with that. So I'm just going to pull this out a bit. I want it as straight as possible. If you get this one on your see, I can swivel it down. It's a bite. Let's get all the weight behind it. Let's put it on the drill. Let's put it on the drill. 
Okay, now. Oh, I get some hell on that. Oh, it's got some grip already. It's gripping the top end. Could do with some clamps, really, but I ain't gonna. <laughs> well, I haven't got a clamp there, but I need clamps to clamp this down. Oh. I just started going into that. Let's get that out a bit. It's gone through the first two inch. Let's go into the. Could do with an impact driver, and oh, I've got an impact driver. That would help out as well. And clamps. I think it might be a bit too overkill this. Might be a bit too overkill. There's too much for it. See that smoky? Let's call fire. Right, so <laughs> back to the drawing board. Pilot it first. Let's pilot it just a bit first. Yeah, you watch you're watching it as it happens and stuff like this happens. Uh, so I'm gonna put that pilot bit in. There. Start off with that one. As it happens, there's, there's no take one, take two. Well, there is. So take 20, but I'll, I'll edit it out a bit. We'll go a bit bigger. We will go a bit bigger than that. We'll see how it goes. Because the uh, Yeah, that'll do it. It's smell. I think that's an eight mil. Got a bit of that. Let's get this lined up. Just got some weight to it. Let's get that back over there without that dropping off. So yeah, I don't want to pay full price for it because I will use it, but it's not going to be something like a drill or something that I'll use every day, you know. I just missed it there. Mm. Rint all. I need a longer reach bit thing screw bit nah we don't that'll be the hardest one to do I'll nip that down get this lined up the best I can which is there go for it Right through. So is that. Let's put that one in. Don't forget, I want to put this to clamp it underneath. Near enough clamping the clamp. You know what I mean? I shall go through that last bit. That's two inches without piloting it. I've got a bit of a better angle on this as well. Let's get that coming through. 
that. Let's get that underneath, line it up. So on. That's why we have these. Smoking. Well, this has got a mark on it. But we are going to have to pilot it. Just throw this through to mark it. Yeah. If you've got Driver, you won't have to go to this trouble that I'm going to now. Yeah, <laughs> well, like BA Barackers, I'm using what I've got access to. In my shed. Da, da, da. I've adapted and overcome the situation. We'll see. Beauty. I have it. Have it. Kill them. Clamp down there. Um, full shed's moving. Now this isn't straight, but this is this is what we can do. You see, this is what we can do. Spin it. I can have that whichever direction we want. It makes it easier. See if I wanted to work a piece of wood here longer piece completely on that way that way go on the back side like that which i probably will use it like that for what for the uh, fuel injectors uh what they say then for putting stuff on 20 quid i love a, I love a bargain i love a bargain I, there's a there's a guy you know and it'll be like uh say say a pair of shades the other day a pair of shades he's like mine cost 180 quid now the ones i had with the uv you know but is with the dolson gabbana or something uh oh I, and he's like oh I, I won't pay less than uh 200 pound for a pair of sunglasses uh, absolutely ridiculous. Some people's more sense, more uh, more money than sense. I think you can get the equivalent nowadays for a lot less. And if you can do it yourself, this fuel injector, the DPF that I'm going to do uh, at a garage is 250 quid. It's going to cost me 30 quid, and the work, the time that I'm going to do to uh, clean it. Uh, so that'll be a savings of 220. This fuel injector. If I took it to a garage, they wouldn't strip a fuel injector down like this. Uh, I'm taking all the pins out, all the gaskets, I'm stripping the full thing, ultrasonic cleaner, re-oiled and re-put back together. So like a full refurb. 
Uh, the thing is with that, if there is something wrong with a pin, you can buy you can buy the pinch you can buy the parts cheap. Now, if you buy the full injector on mine, the Bosch ones are the two hundred and sixty quid. So, if I took it to a garage, the garage would say it needs a new fuel injector. Uh, I might be able to get a cheaper one. You might have to get a, a brand new one, and then you're gonna have to fit it. And it costs I don't, I don't know about four hundred quid. Do you reckon with a brand new fuel injector? It's gonna cost me. Hopefully, it's gonna cost me nothing. It's just going to need a real good clean and it'll, uh, it'll work as it should. So, yeah, tune in. Uh, that video will be coming up ne next. That's what I've got this fire for. Uh, and please like and subscribe. Only a small channel and that. Uh, I just do a bit of everything, but at, at the moment, it seems like it's all to do with cars. Uh, yeah, and take care.